Hi everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me today I have Kathy. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, trochanteric bursitis and the glute medius uh, tendonitis, tendinosis, possibly a tear, and how they can look like each other. And uh, to always remember that um, not we don't always just have a uh, greater trochanteric bursitis type issue, but it can be even more than that. So, Kathy has been having. Uh, how old are you, Kathy? 66. Okay, and how long have you had hip pain on the right side? Probably about seven years. Seven years. So we've done some conservative uh, therapy on Kathy. She's a snowbird, so she lives in northern Maine during the summers and travels down to Texas in the winters. And so we don't see her all the time, but we have done some treatment on this hip. The treatment has included some soft tissue work, some leg strengthening, orthotics because she has a slight valgus knee posture which stresses the hip a little bit more. And uh, so we've done all of that. And you've also had some injections, correct? Yes. In the in the uh, outside of your hip, how yes. many injections? Probably about four. Okay. And any relief with the injections? Not at all. No, no relief at all with injections to the lateral side of the hip. Now, first thing you need to remember is that if people have a greater trochanteric bursitis, they get great relief with an injection. If they have some tendonitis to the glute medius tendon, glute minimus tendon, um, they get pretty good relief with an injection. But if she's getting no relief, then we need to be suspecting that there's something else going on. Now it could be coming from her back, because an L5 can present with lateral hip pain, that's very common, but she has a negative straight leg raise test. So we're going to show you a couple things today, and something to remember. So I'm going to have you lie right down on your back if you would, Kathy. I'll come around this way, and I'll just be on this side here. Um, so we do a straight leg raise test with her doesn't make the outside of your hip get worse. Okay, so we're going to have you roll onto your side. We're going to face that way. She can't sleep on this side, hasn't been able to for a long time. Right. She also has some localized swelling and, and you can't see because we have some clothes on her right now, but um, when I palpate this you can tell that it's swollen. Okay, and it's also exquisitely point tender. So a bursa would be tender, um, if she had a fracture it would be tender, which we know she does not have. But what we did re uh, find out recently, and we've been suspecting this for quite a while, is that she has a glute medius and glute minimus tendon tear at the insertion. Okay, And so if we take her and roll her forward a little bit, and we have her hold that leg up here, hold tight. She can't really do it, it's really, the leg is giving out and it's painful, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, if we roll her back here, have her use her hip flexors a little bit, she's fine, okay? If she had a trochanteric bursitis, doing hip abduction resisted strengthening should not be very painful, okay? It's painful to touch, they do really well with injections, so we rule that out. The other thing I'm going to show, I'm going to have you sit back up, Kathy, if you would, is where she has some weakness. So if I check her on this side, I want you to hold here, don't let me push it. Nice strength, her body kind of slides on the table. And if we check this side, hold tight. All right, she has some weakness, especially when she's right out there. So she has weakness, the pain is persistent, it's not gotten better with conservative treatment. She's had no improvement with an injection. Um, you have to be suspicious of a glute medius tear. It's kind of like a rotator cuff tear of the hip. So make sure that you keep that in the back of your mind. This gets missed a lot. Um, and uh, she's going to be having it repaired. It can be repaired arthroscopically or uh, open repair. And um, basically to get that glute medius uh, attached back to the hip so that uh, she can have better stability when she walks. She does have an antalgic gait. It hurts every time she takes a step because those muscles are contracting every time she bears weight. Otherwise she will go into a Trendelenburg type of position. So. Um, keep the, uh, the glute medius, glute minimus tear in the back of your mind when you're assessing the lateral hip. Thanks for your time.